Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to shed light on a crucial aspect of vehicle maintenance that often goes overlooked, brake bleeding. Your car's braking system is vital for your safety and the safety of others on the road. Brake bleeding is a simple yet significant maintenance task that ensures your brakes function optimally. Let's dive into why your brakes should be regularly bled and understand and go through the three uh, major components. Understanding the brake system, preventing brake fade, and extending brake life. Understanding the brake system. The brake system in your vehicle operates using hydraulic fluid, hydro, or which is typically brake fluid, but there's different types. Over time, air can enter the brake lines, causing a spongy or soft brake pedal. This air affects the efficiency of, a braking of the braking system, compromising your ability to stop quickly and safely. Importance of a, firm, of a firm brake pedal. A firm brake pedal is crucial for responsive and reliable braking. Brake bleeding removes all, all air, removes air bubbles from the brake lines, restoring that firmness to the pedal. This ensures that when you apply the brakes, the force is transmitted immediately to the brake components. Now let's just get into how to how to bleed your brakes step by step. So, first step is going to be removing the tire, which is removing the tire. Now that you have located the uh, wheel caliper, you have to find the brake bleeder screw, which is going to be like a little knob on the back of your caliper. I wish it was a little better quality, but I don't know. And then after you have located the brake bleeder screw, you're going to want to put the bleeder line on the brake bleeder. And so like for, for example, right here, this is my uh, brake bleeder. Basically what it is, is it's like a siphon. So brake fluid goes through and inside of the tube and connects to the, the brake bleeder to create a, a suction so that it won't be able to get any air in, but you can still pump out um, air out of the, the brake system. So then as soon as you have that connected, you're going to want to pump your brakes because it's going to flush out all the air that's in your brake system and the brake lines. And during this, it'll actually be pretty tough to push down the brakes because you're pushing so much hydraulic fluid in and out of your brake system. And while that's happening, you're going to see air bubbles come in and out. I didn't have a, a video for that. So here's, uh, oh, whoops. So this is just like things to look for and uh, how you know you're done. So when you're, when you're pumping your brakes, air is either going to come, you're going to see it come through and out of the tube. Uh, in just little bits at a time. And even if you think you're done, sometimes you got to go a little longer just because it's hard to know if you're actually uh, fully done or not because air in the brake lines causes your brakes not to work as well. So, and you know you're done bleeding is if uh, there's consistently no air coming out of your reservoir or lines. After you've uh, finished bleeding your brakes, now you normally you only have to do this to one wheel, but you might have to do it to all four, which in my case I had to do, which is pretty tragic, but could be worse. Uh, yeah, and then there's a little cap that goes on the, the bleeder line. You got to put that back on there. And the, the bleeder, the brake bleeder goes off of like a, a little 10 millimeter nut. So you have to loosen it for any of the fluid to come out. So as long as it's tightened all the way when you're done, nothing will leak. But the bleeder cap is still there for just a, a Band-Aid, I guess. And then you're going to want to put the wheel and the lug nuts back. And then you're going to lower the car down from the jack stand, which this is definitely easier said than done just because you don't want to drop the car. So, And after you've done all that, you're all set. So now let's get back into the, the, second, com the second major component, which is preventing brake fade. Um, brake fade occurs when brakes lose their effectiveness due to overheating. Air in the brake system... Uh, contribute to brake fade by reducing the fluid's ability to transfer heat away from braking components. Through time, brake fluid becomes dirty and not as pure, which can make it less effective. Oh. Which actually in here, this is uh, my old brake fluid, and then the stuff still in the lines is actually the newer brake fluid because it hasn't been siphoned all the way through. So that's kind of an example along with the picture up on, on here. So. Um, regular brake, brake bleeding and fl fluid flushing help ma helps maintain optimal fluid levels and reduces the risk of brake fade. Extending your brake components life. Brake components such as calipers and cylinders can suffer damage if air is present in brake lines. Air in the brake system can cause uneven pressure dis distribution leading to premature wear on these components, which is also why you have to bleed all four brakes sometimes, especially if you're dealing with like the master cylinder which disperses all of the brake fluid. 
So if you have air in one wheel and then not in the other, then you can you're gonna wear down your wheels at different paces. So brake bleeding can cause uneven pressure distribution, leading to premature wear on these components. And uh, brake fluid is hydroscopic, which means it absorbs moisture over time. And moisture in brake brake fluid can lead to corrosion within the braking system, affecting its performance. While regular brake bleeding helps remove old fluid and moisture and helps you maintain the integrity of the brake system. Now diagnosing brake problems. If you notice a, a soft or spongy brake pedal, this could indicate air in the brake lines, which this was actually my case. So you, be, my, my brake pedal used to go to the floor and I didn't really know that was a problem until I learned. So uh, a vibrating or pulsating brake while you're uh, applying pressure on your brakes is also another indicator that your brakes brake bleeding might be necessary. And uh, addressing these issues promptly through brake bleeding can prevent more significant problems down the road. Conclusion. Now that we've gone over all three main points like understanding the brake system, preventing brake fade, and extending brake life, brake component life. Along with learning how to bleed your brakes and diagnose problems, we learned brake bleeding is not just a routine maintenance, ta maintenance task, but a crucial step in ensuring your safety on the road. A well-maintained braking system with a firm pedal response is essential for effective and reliable braking. Regular brake, brake, brake bleeding removes air from the brake lines, preventing brake fade, extending the life of, of brake components, and maintaining the performance of brake fluid. That's it.